Hello, I am Benedict Cumberbatch. I am the most awesome British actor in the world. And I am devilishly handsome. Not so fast, Mr. Cumberbatch. What? Tom Hiddleston? That's right. I am just as awesome, just as devilishly good looking, and just as British as you are. No, I can't argue with that. Now kiss. Beaver camp and his chicken towel. Let's see what he has to say. What's he got for us this time? That probably flew away. A fish in a squeeze. It's a guilty pleasure. A fish in a squeeze. It's a compound measure. A fish in a squeeze. Shine the lights. Show the camera. Smile for the world and panorama. He likes to impersonate walk on. Hey everybody, Aficionados Chris here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most indecisive films of last year. Much like Only God Forgives, there is a handful of people that either really like this movie or really hate this movie. And that film, of course, is The Fifth Estate, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. The Fifth Estate is available on Blu-ray right now from Walt Disney Studios. And I'd actually never seen this film previously. This is actually my first time checking it out. I am a big fan of uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. I am a big fan of The uh, Sherlock Show. I actually really like Star Trek Into Darkness. I thought he was great in that. And it was actually one of my top films of the year. This is one I really wanted to see, and I didn't get to see it, and I was really looking forward to it. And upon seeing it, I watched it with a very open mind, as I do with almost every movie. And I have to put myself in the bandwagon of that I really liked it, actually. I can't say I don't see why people don't like it. I mean, this movie does have issues, but for me personally, the issues that it did have, as far as pacing and its uh, style, I, I can definitely see some things that could have been improved. But overall, I didn't think any of these uh, issues really bothered the film as a whole for me. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well acted. I thought the script could have been just a little bit better. I think if it had a couple more drafts and a little more polish, it probably would have been, you know, right up there with Aaron Sorkin writing, you know, uh, like The Social Network, which a lot of people had actually been comparing this movie to uh, this year's The Social Network, except the, the big difference being, of course, The Social Network was critically acclaimed, whereas this film was more or less critically panned. And one of the big things that really made me love this movie was uh, I really liked its style. It did actually remind me a lot of Aaron Sorkin's work, and I was actually very surprised to find that he didn't write it. I mean, it's definitely not up to his quality as far as writing, but it had that same feel, and, you know, whoever made this film uh, clearly took a lot of inspiration from him, and it really showed, and I thought it really worked for uh, this kind of film. The tone was very nice. I really enjoyed it. It was a great little thriller. I personally don't know a lot about WikiLeaks. I do know that it existed, but I, I didn't really know a lot of the history behind it. This film is, of course, based upon two books that uh, Julian Assange himself has uh, dismissed as, you know, complete fiction. Uh, it's very much like The Social Network, where the people that it's based upon have, you know, claimed that it's completely fictitious. And there's a lot of great actors in this movie. We got Stanley Tucci, uh, Laura Linney, and two actors whose names I'm probably going to mess up in pronunciation, Daniel Brohl and uh, Alicia Vikander. And I've never heard of these actors before. I don't know if this is their first American film, but I, I've never seen them in anything before. And I thought they were really good in this movie. They did a great job. Alicia Vikander especially because she was absolutely gorgeous. Not as hot as Benedict Cumberbatch though. And speaking of Benedict Cumberbatch, I gotta sit and talk about this guy. I, like I said before, I'm a big fan of him, big fan of Sherlock, loved him in Star Trek, and I've seen him in many other things. He's just a phenomenal actor, and this movie definitely showcases uh, his amazing talent. He really got into character with this role. His performance is one of the best I've seen of the year, and even if you don't like the movie that much, you need to at least acknowledge that Benedict Cumberbatch's performance is astounding. I'm actually surprised he hasn't gotten any award recognition for this role. I didn't see him nominated for anything. Definitely no Oscar for him this year. And it's really a shame, because I thought he was phenomenal. I, I couldn't even see Benedict Cumberbatch. I saw Julian Assange, and I, again, I don't know much about WikiLeaks, nor do I really know about Julian Assange. His performance made me believe in this and overall I thought it was a fine movie. You know, I, it does have issues, but I personally was able to look past them and you know focus on the film as a whole. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well acted, very well shot, very well directed. It, it kept my attention, and it's a pretty long movie, so the fact that it kept my attention and you know had me gripping, clearly the movie was doing something right. I've heard the opposite from a lot of people, that they thought that the pacing was bad, and, and that it was a little too melodramatic. I can definitely see where they're coming from, but personally, it didn't bother me. I enjoyed it overall. Uh, I believe some people have actually said it's about the quality of a Hallmark TV movie. 
I wouldn't go that far, because Hallmark TV movies are definitely not the best quality films. I think this is better than those. You know, if you're a big fan of Benedict Cumberbatch, you just want to watch a, a good acting movie, I'd say check it out. There are other films about WikiLeaks. In fact, there was a documentary that came out a while ago. I believe it was called WikiLeaks We Steal Secrets. I've heard a lot of great things about that, and because of this movie, I'm definitely going to be checking that out, because I want to learn more about WikiLeaks, because this film really got me fascinated in it. Let's talk about the Blu-ray now. The picture audio quality is very good. You know, it's a recently released film, so, you know, it was shot well, and, you know, it's preserved well. It looks great. And uh, we actually have a couple bonus features, nothing too special. We have a bunch of featurettes, the submission platform, in-camera graphics, scoring secrets, and of course trailers and TV spots. I say I recommend renting it, check it out, see if you like it. I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of people are not going to, and if you yourself didn't like it, you know, I perfectly understand, but I enjoyed it very much. I'm very glad I saw it, and I'm very happy to add this to my collection. So, that was my review of The Fifth Estate. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.